Hi, my name's Kate and I'm a high school math teacher getting ready to start my 17th year of teaching. So today I thought that I would take you along on my day one of my classroom setup video. It's not going to be super long. It's already almost 2.30. Um, it's Wednesday. Teachers start back this Monday coming up. So I just wanted to get a jump start on a few different things in here. So I'm not going to stay long. I'm not going to do a lot, but um, I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you kind of what I'm looking at right now for my classroom and sort of my goal for today. So when you walk in, you see this, so there's, you know, keys, Starbucks, um, and my desk area. So my desk area, I really just piled up a bunch of stuff that I didn't need to be moved out of my classroom over the summer. Bulletin board I need to redo. I took that down at the end of the summer. So this, I'm also going to remove these paper people. My desks are pretty well set where I want them. I'll need to just do a little bit of rearranging some of the furniture, adding a few things. I need to add my computer back where it belongs, just to fix up a few things on the board. I think I'm gonna redo this bulletin board and then pan around at the last back part of my classroom. Here's a bulletin board I started redoing before the end of the school year and I'm gonna work on that. So really I don't have a lot to do flip you around here. So I don't really have a huge amount to do, which is nice. I think my biggest thing, just sort of getting things put back together, getting my bulletin boards hung up, um, and just, you know, little things here and there. So that's kind of what I've got going on. I think I'm going to focus on my teacher desk area today, and that's it with my maybe two hours in the classroom. Um, I do want to show you guys, I'm wearing this really cute t-shirt. This I got, um, it's got coffee cups on it, some teachery coffee cups. This is a t-shirt from Callie Danielle. She's got super cute things. So if you like this t-shirt, um, also the tapestry that I have right here, you can do hard things. I got that from Callie Danielle. So she's got some really cute, um, teacher merchandise, other merchandise too. I am going to be using one of her bulletin boards this, uh, beginning of the school year. And I'm really excited. So when I get that set up, I'll be able to, or I'll be sure to show you. So I will put a link in the description for her website. So you guys can check that out too. So I thought I'd show you real quick what I was just working on. I um, love doing bulletin boards and ha kind of having different, changing them up, different seasons, holidays, whatever. It's been a lot of fun to do this past year. So I have many of my bulletin borders, boards in page protectors. So I put them in a binder. I expanded my binder and it is already completely full. So here's the one that I have. This is the one that's on my front door right now. So I find print, printing out kind of what it is helps as well if I can. Um, so here I'll probably hang this one up at the beginning. This is the different um, math types that you are. Amazing work. Gonna hang that one up. This one's from Miss Crafty Math Teacher. I'll link her below and I can already see that I'm losing things. So I may have to expand this already maybe into like a first semester second semester type situation um so inspiration so the struggle is real or the struggle is when real learning happens i thought that was really cute this one is invisible math i can see already used i want to stay uh so this is one of the uh, class pack border packs from Callie Danielle. This is her, um, the one that I got in August. So a fall theme one, super cute, excited to put that up. This is another one from Miss Crafty Math Teacher, pumpkin pie, um, right? I know there's a little bit of a glare. Let's see if I can put that up so you guys can see it. Super cute. I'll do the same with this one because this one's really fun. Um, so this is, again, another one from Miss Crafty Math Teacher, a retro holiday Christmas border. So we've got that one right there. And I didn't use those last year. This one I did use, this calculator, um, Calculate Love. 
That was really fun, my pre-calc students especially. Got a kick out of that one. Um, I did Pai Ku last year over Pi Day, so now I've got some border to put up with that. And then I had a big bulletin board full of as many digits of Pi as I could fit on there, so that's what I have in these bags. And then I had this one up last year, Spring into Math. So again, Miss Crafty Math Teacher, she's got all sorts of cute ones that have the uh, graphing calculators. And then I did this one I did um, when my pre-calc kids were looking at graphing in the polar plane. I used my Cricut Joy to print out all of their graphs and I had a thing that just said math is art. So that's what this one is. And then another one from Miss Crafty Math Teacher. Yes, you are sensing a pattern here. So this one's testing encouragement. So a lot of different calculators with different positive sayings. I know a lot of teachers printed these out smaller and gave them to students before they tested. And I think that's a really cute idea as well. Thankfully, we don't have state testing. So I didn't have to worry about that. Um, but I put this up before finals and that was really fun. And then I've got... Several of these are already printed. I just need to hang them up, but TI Calculator's got some posters. So there's Eat, Sleep, Math, Repeat. That's the one I didn't frame. I've got others framed. I just need to put up. And then TI Calculator also has a bunch of different, like, hey, here are the buttons that you would press to do all of these things. So I have those printed. We'll hang those up as we get to those units that I need. And then here's another pack from Callie Danielle. This is a special that I got in July, the Inclusive Smileys. So it's a really cute pack. Um, so that, it's not everything I have. I do have this, um, another one from Callie Danielle. It's a, called a Cup of Pep Talk. You are loved a latte and a lot of funny coffee puns with that one. I have this class pack also from a Callie Danielle that's I'm going to hang up and use at the start of the school. So that's why it's not in the binder. I have it set out with all the other stuff that I'm going to be um, to be using. So I do have more. So let me just swing you down around here. So under here is where I have just some kind of a mess down here with some other stuff but some other bulletin board border that I have I haven't organized it yet so here's some other ones um, and this is right now where I've got those big pieces that go with the um, the seasonal ones and then I've got a big pie for my pie day thing and those are too big to fit in the binder so I put those down there so I'm gonna spin you back around I'm gonna keep working Okay, so I finished moving furniture around a little bit. It really wasn't that bad. Um, just putting the chairs back where they went, moving the tables just a little bit. It is so hot, there is no AC in here right now, and it's... <sighs> okay, so it looks like I'm missing a couple of chairs, two or three chairs, maybe. Um, I know I had one to two extras, and right now the uh, round table only has three, and it should have four. So i um, going to have to see if I can figure out where those chairs went. Um, so it's now just after three o'clock and so I was planning on staying until 3 30 or 4 so I may tackle let's see this bulletin board right here maybe just put the background on there and the border on there and then see where that takes me so let's go ahead and get that started So I'm doing what teachers do best and go visit people. So I'm on my way to go see one of my friends real quick. She is 
moving out of her classroom. She's no longer going to be a classroom teacher. Instead, she's going to be one of our assistant deans. So I'm just going to go quickly say hi to her, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll get back to the bulletin board. Maybe I'll go home. It's really hot. So I made it back into my room, and it's about 3.35, and I'm going to try to knock out the border on this bulletin board, and then I'm going to head home, I think. So let's go ahead and get it done. Okay, so I will eventually put a strip down the center. I did that because these boards are huge and that will allow me to kind of create two separate bulletin boards out of one, but it is way too hot in here. So I am gonna pack up and go home. Um, and then, I don't know, I heard that the air conditioning is not supposed to be on the entire week, but maybe I'll come in tomorrow, maybe earlier in the morning when it's not so hot um, and try to get a little bit done. Um, maybe I'll set up some of the bulletin boards. So that's probably it for today. I think I'm again, going to pack up and I will catch you in my next setup video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with more of my 17th year teaching high school, please subscribe and I will talk to you all later. Bye.